hello everyone welcome back thank you so much for stopping by my name is naki and this is cook with naki and today's menu we're making a patty style jollof rice let's get started i have my oil in the pot i'm gonna be frying my goat meat um this goat meat has already been cooked yeah so you just want to cook your goat meat season with any seasoning you prefer and just fry your meat you could use any meat of your choice either beef either pork whatever you prefer in your jollof fry just use it So I fried my goat meat till it's golden brown. As you can see, I'm trying to um, stir it to make sure the other side is also um, well um, fried. My goat meat is well done. Yeah, I'm taking out from the oil. And this is basically the process when you're using any kind of meat or uh, chicken to do your goat meat. You season, you cook it, then you fry it. Yeah, and that's it. I'm not going to be adding my blended vegetable and this I have uh, my tomatoes, scratch red pepper and onion. This is exactly what I have um, in there. You could add ginger and garlic if you prefer. I also use the canned tomatoes, the crushed ones in the can. Um, you could use the fresh one if you prefer but when I'm making a big pot like that, I like to use the canned one and it's really really good. I love the taste and it saves time. With the fresh one, I feel like it's a lot of work taking out the seed and blending everything together. So yeah, feel free to use any um, tomatoes you prefer and I added some tomato paste um, to it. So I give this a set to make sure the tomato paste, everything is well mixed together. I'm going to cover this halfway and let it cook. After 20 minutes, yeah, you can see the stew has thickened and it's looking good. The tomato paste, you can see the color of it now. And yeah, it looks really good now. And I keep, within the 20 minutes, I keep stirring in there because I didn't want it to burn. And I'm going to season my stew. So I have some shrimp tablets. At this point, feel free to use any spices of your choice. Yeah, I have some salt and I'm also going to be adding some curry powder in a minute. Curry powder is a thing. Like if you're making jollof rice, if you've never tried using curry powder in your jollof rice, please do. It just brings a lot of aroma to your jollof rice and it tastes really good. So I added enough um, curry powder to my jollof rice because I was making a lot. So yeah, um, add any seasoning of your choice to your jollof rice. So I'm adding my fried goat meat. Um, yeah, some people would like to add it at the end, but I love to add my goat meat to this too because number one, uh, I want some infusion to take place. I want it to infuse with this too so it tastes good. Number two, I did not cook the goat meat um, really soft. I cook it halfway because at the end of the day, I'm going to be adding it to the stew as you see, so it's going to continue its cooking process. And I added my rice to it. I'm using jasmine. Feel free to use any rice of your choice. And here I did not measure the rice. My eyes are my measurements. If you know what I'm talking about. My hands too are my measurement. When I'm making jollof rice, when I'm stirring, I could tell if the stew is too much or the rice is little. Yes, you know what I'm talking about. So I'm now adding my um, stock from the goat meat that I cooked before I fried it. So I gave this a stir and yeah, as you can see, the color have changed. I did not add any food coloring or anything to it. It's just the lightning. Uh, before I started, I was having probably the lightning was not working out. But for some reason, I was able to fix it at this point. So that's how you see uh, it's the lightning that is on the food that uh, gave it that bright color. I added some water to it and always do not add too much if you're not sure 
just a little bit and if you need more you could add a little bit at a time because remember you cannot take water out of the rice but you can add more if you need to so my rice have been cooking for about 15 to 20 minutes under medium heat and yeah i'm giving it a stir it looks good already but it is not done as you can see there's moisture and there's some grains in it that are not cooked so you want to give it a stir After stirring the rice, I'm going to cover it with aluminum foil for the heat to cook through it. You could use parchment paper or um, kitchen napkin if you prefer that one. And that's it. Our rice is going to be done in a minute. After additional 15 to 20 minutes and the medium heat and look at our rice. Look how perfect that looks grainy and you back up back and it is well well done it's not mushy everything is perfect with this rice and it is also so 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 good and yeah this is how i make my jello fry this is just like the process um you could add anything you could add vegetables you could add any seasoning of your choice this is just to show you the process uh i take to make my jello fries and if you want to follow this of course just do and trust me you're gonna love it after i dish out my jello fries don't forget the kanzo it is so good the crunchy part of the kanzo please do not use like the burnt one of course you're gonna see this in my video there was the burnt ones and you don't want to add that that tastes better it's just a side by side part that is so crunchy and it tastes so good but if you don't like it just um discard it and this is what i was talking about so when i was scraping it i make sure i don't scrape it so hard i just scrape the side and the top and mix it up with the rice Ooh, and it was perfect all right everybody thank you so much for watching this video i hope you loved it please like this video if you did and please subscribe to the channel so one thing that i noticed on my channel is most of the people who watch have not subscribed please please subscribe to the channel if you love it Thank you so much for watching. Until I come your way next time, this is Cook with Naki. Be good to yourself. Be good to everybody. It goes a long way.